Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a who is stalking you reading. These readings are particularly important I feel for Pisces because we tend to, I'm a Pisces too, we tend to attract good and not so good attention. So let's just check out who is maybe paying a little bit too much attention to you Pisces. Um, stalking you on social media, what are their intentions, let's just see who's around, what energies, you know, maybe even what energies you need to be protecting you yourself from. Before we start, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I do daily readings, all Pisces focused, and I do the Pisces marathons in which every single weekend I post tons of readings for Pisces. If you ever want to say thank you, you can also get our Pisces as fuck mug. That's Chai over there. Look at him, he's so tiny. It's my new kitty. Whoop. <laughs> Alright. Alrighty. Tutti's grumpy, don't get close to him, he might hurt you. <laughs> he thinks everyone is like super friendly. The other ones are really friendly with him, but Tutti is the older one. He's not really interested in him. Alrighty, so universe, who is stalking Pisces? Let's see if Chai is gonna let us do this reading. At least you're small, quite tiny, so maybe you can be in the reading without destroying it completely like that. Universe, who is currently stalking Pisces? Paying too much attention to Pisces? For better or worse, please show us. Throw the cards that fall on the table. And be taking them upright specifically. Ace of Pentacles. So you may be drawing some attention, Pisces, due to your finances, your projects, uh, your projects. Maybe some kind of recent new beginning or success could be driving in some attention. Let's see. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus. Someone here seems to be very confused about you, Pisces. They don't know if they should bet on you. This could be some kind of boss, supervisor. This could be some kind of person who is either giving you approval or disapproval in regards to something. Could be like a business partner. Could be like a business investor, a bank, or something. It seems like someone here is a little confused about you. I'm sorry guys if the animals are distracting. This is how my life works. I always have like a Sioux on the background. I love it, so yeah. So yeah, it seems like someone here is a little confused about you, Pisces. They see sort of like the potential that you have financially but they're afraid to bet on you because they are afraid that it would suddenly go belly up that your business or your stability would suddenly end or something like that so they don't know if they should invest in you they see good and they see not so good they see risk pretty much else oh we got a ten of wands there could be someone here who's a little bit overburdened by you Pisces maybe you have a rhythm maybe you have a way of doing things uh, certain expectations certain standards that may be a bit much for a person here Who's looking at you and saying, damn, like, I can't keep up with Pisces. Like, their work ethic or their energy or their manifestations or success goes fast. And I don't know if I can keep up. 
this may be another person, a different person. You could be dealing with a Taurus Pisces. You could also perhaps be dealing with someone who serves as some kind of like guru kind of character here. Uh, someone could potentially be observing you, okay? This could be like a leader, religious leader, spiritual leader, or something like that. This could be sort of like the head of a group, the most popular person of a group, some kind of teacher, maybe like a yoga teacher, or like a, a shamanic teacher, whatever, you know, some kind of mentor. And this person is observing you, very closely. I don't necessarily feel bad vibes, but I feel like they compare themselves to you quite a bit, Pisces, and they allow comparison to be the thief of joy for them. So sometimes, you know, they may be having a good day <laughs> and they see something you post about something you achieved and they're like, I, I can't go as fast as Pisces goes. Like, I don't understand why Pisces is having so much success or I don't understand how they're keeping that up and it becomes a little bit of a burden okay I feel like this person finds solace or finds comfort in the fact that maybe they have sort of like a family maybe they have like um, a very good family very strong family very wide family maybe uh direct family or like with a partner and children and stuff like that and they could Pisces they could maybe think that you don't have that if you're a Pisces that don't doesn't have that and they find sort of like comfort in that maybe they see you as someone who's more lonely maybe you have a marriage maybe you have kids but maybe you don't have like the best or the biggest family structure as far as like I don't know aunts and uncles and grandma or whatever <laughs> you know and they may compare themselves to you but when they feel bad about their own like s <laughs> like professional success they say to themselves like well at least i have a beautiful family and pisces doesn't or something along those lines okay take it as it resonates it may not resonate with you some of you guys could be dealing with a gemini libra aquarius person who looks at you and they feel this frustration. They feel somehow like they're supposed to keep up with you. I feel like you don't even have connection with this person. For some of you guys, this is someone you haven't even met. But for some reason, it's like they compare themselves to you and they see you as competition maybe. And they want to sort of like go uh, at the same speed as you or just sort of like... <laughs> or just sort of like... Mm, not be left behind by you as far as like professional success goes could be a Libra could be an Aquarius could be a Gemini others of you could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius person This could have been someone who you ended a connection with at some point. Could be a very old thing, could be a recent thing. But it seems like they're focused on an ending that may have, hap may have, hap may have happened. Chai. Bing. Oh. <laughs> I don't like it when, she, when he gets close to Tuti. Ow. Because Tuti might like rip his head off. To device really hard. No! <sighs> anyway, this person may be focused on some kind of ending that happened with you guys. Um, let's see what else is coming through here. It's okay. I can be focused. I can be focused even if I have a little hurricane here on the table. Someone wants a brand new beginning with you, Pisces. I feel like it's this fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
maybe they're really focused on whatever happened that ended your connection and they're ready to sort of like uh go all the way back you know start over sort of oh my god <laughs> stop it <laughs> stop it he's so uh, hyperactive sometimes and he bites it's like a little nibble but it just it gets annoying Anyway, yeah, they're thinking about that. They're thinking about a new beginning and how to bring it about. Now, this person is not necessarily stalking you. I feel like this person has a lot on their plate anyway. So, you know, they have a busy schedule. They do what they need to do. And they don't have a lot of time to, like, think about you. But it's something, like, that they feel like they have pending. It's like, I'm going to ask Pisces um, at some point to to take this... I don't know, this new beginning forward. But maybe not right now, or you know, whenever I see them, or they're not in a hurry. They don't feel urged to do this. But it's like they know that they want to do it eventually. Maybe ask you out or reconciliate or you know, whatever the context may be. They're actually looking forward to this quite a bit. They want this new beginning. This could be an Aries, a Leo, or just Sagittarius. Strongly an Aries here with the Emperor. This Emperor looks like Ed Sheeran, doesn't he? <laughs> uh, let's see what else is coming through here. Alright. Who else is stalking Pisces? Tell us more information, universe, about... Pisces stalkers. You know, I'm not really getting any kind of bad vibe, which I love. I always tell you guys, like, I love it when when you're not the focus of attention of some kind of really toxic person. I feel you're not right now, but I do feel like... I mean, this person who compares themselves to you, it's not like they're jealous, but it's like they expect themselves to outwork you. And it seems to be hard for them. So they get like into this mode like, damn, Pisces works a lot. Or like, Pisces goes fast. Like, I don't understand how Pisces does it. They're not jealous. They're not like, I should be that. I should be feeling that. I should be experiencing that. That's my success. No, they don't feel that way. They're actually quite motivated by you. But they do feel like they, they want to outwork you, but they, they can't seem to figure out how. This person brainstorms, they think about different ways in which they can like do the things that maybe you do or achieve the levels of success that you have. They actually like brainstorm about it. Some of them even study what you do, how you do it, you know. Oh my god. Chai. <laughs> He's alive. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Um, well, he pulled two cards here for us. He pulled the Messenger of Water and he pulled the Moon. Alright, there could be an offer of love that wants to come in. So this could be the offer of love from an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius person. This could be someone who wants to offer you love, but doesn't seem to be able to contact you so this could be someone you blocked this could be someone who's on a social media platform that you're not using right now this could be someone who's maybe a neighbor that's waiting for you to like i don't know go about your day and they maybe know that you walk a certain hour through a certain place and they want to run into you but you're not doing that right now something like that it's like they want to offer you love but for some reason like they can't get a hold of you strongly pisces that was chai's contribution to the reading those two cards were pulled by him <laughs> there's someone here who's got two potential lovers Two potential offers of love. 
and they want to give this love to you, but they can't seem to get a hold of you. So they're thinking about going with the other person just because they can't seem to reach you. Maybe you changed your number. Maybe they lost your number or something. Someone is feeling quite abandoned by you, Pisces. Could be this person that maybe you left out in the cold. Could be this person if you suddenly like block them or abandon the connection at some point. And they want to offer you this love, but they can't seem to get a hold of you. So they might feel like they need to move on. This person, which could be a Pisces, could be an Aries, Leo, Sag. Strongly Aries. Could be an Earth sign as well. Could be an Aquarius. Could be a Cancer. <laughs> um, this person feels very connected to you. They feel like there's something nice there. Like a very innocent, very pure connection. They really want to manifest it. They really do. They're waiting for you to like appear and they want to take this into completion, but it doesn't seem to be happening. Maybe right now, Pisces, you're being very standoffish with them. Some of you don't even know who I'm talking about. This could be someone who's in the sidelines, someone who you would have never imagined had a crush on you. I'm getting strongly like a neighbor, a neighbor that you run into usually quite a bit and it seems accidental but it's absolutely not they're trying to like do that again they're trying to like <laughs> run into you again someone is but it's not working Ooh. yeah definitely could be an aries leo sagittarius person they really really wish for you pisces someone feels like you are their wish fulfillment we got the world again? What? So this deck has two world cards? That's weird. It's the same deck. Same deck. Two world cards. Huh. Wow, that's interesting. I don't know what to make of it. <laughs> Both of these figures have like an afro. So it could be dealing with someone who styles their hair like this, who has maybe even curly hair. Like, I'm seeing like a very curly, like a woman with very curly, beautiful, kind of like big hair. Not necessarily like an afro though, like more like very bouncy, curly hair could have something to do with you take it if it resonates yes definitely and a fire sign here aries leo sag capricorn virgo taurus all right yeah someone's feeling rejected by you pisces they're feeling rejected by you so you know these readings can often be sort of like a mix and match so I feel like in this particular reading, it wasn't as clear like person one, person two, person three. It may all kind of like be a little bit of a remix of all of them. <laughs> so take it as it resonates, you know, maybe certain little aspects of things uh, create sort of like your person and your um, storyline. Take it as it comes, Pisces. So yeah, this is what I'm getting for you. I love this reading because there's no need for you to protect your energy. <laughs> you know, there's no crazy stalker, psycho person wishing you ill or anything like that. Because as you know, if you follow the channel, sometimes, sometimes some of those wackos appear. Thank God it's not the case in this one. Anyway, I do want to recommend you the energy protection course that I created for you guys. Um, as far as stalkers go, you don't need it, but it's a really, really good thing to know. It's very useful. Um, I personally went through a lot of like psychic attacks at the beginning of my spiritual journey. Um, I even wrote a book about it. Not about like energy protection. It was a novel just like narrating my experience, which was nuts. But I did learn a lot <laughs> about dark magic and all the crazy shit that some people uh, can throw your way. 
I mean, no judgment. You know, everyone has their own perspective of things. But it's really, really important to learn how to protect your energy from those things so you can really live your best life without kind of like obstacles, additional obstacles or interruptions or just kind of like, uh, you know, extra weight that you have to carry around. So if you feel like this is something that could benefit you, um, I recommend you check out the course. It's $49.98 right now on the website. The information will be below. And Tuti wanted to come and say hi. Hi, Tuti. This is my older baby. At least you can see a part of him. <laughs> Tuti. Anyway, um, if you feel like that course uh, is gonna help you out maybe you feel a little heavy maybe you feel like things are just not working out for you maybe the abundance is not flowing in or the health is kind of weird you know check that out check that out and if it resonates i'm sure you're not gonna regret it all right i love you guys to the moon and back and i'll see you in the next read bye